Good afternoon, this is Jim Wakey uh, with news and announcements for St. John and Maxville, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and SandylandCenter.org, our website. Today is Wednesday, the 19th of January. It's 32 at noon time here in the square, and we are having a snowy day today with 33 the high temperature and a 40% chance of snow. Then uh, for tomorrow, uh, snowy especially in the morning with a 60% chance of snow and the high temperature is only 31. Then on Friday, partly cloudy and much better, 42 for the high temperature. Saturday, partly cloudy and 47, and that will be the warmest day. Then we have Sunday, cloudy and cold with 29, the high temperature, and Monday, partly cloudy with 38 being the high temperature. Happy anniversary today to Lou Ann and Larry Fisher, and happy anniversary tomorrow to Dawn and Linda McAllister, and happy birthday to Gabrielle Williamson. We hope that you have really great special days in all this cold weather. Now, after the 6.30 news today, uh, you will want to check on Channel 3 because if things go well, uh, we expect to be able to be showing uh, yesterday's basketball games at the Midwinter Classic. Uh, we'll be recording them uh, uh, and uh, then we will want to try to put them on uh, this afternoon after the 6.30 news tonight. So if you were shut in and all you could do is listen to the game, uh, try watching it tonight after 6.30 and uh, it should have the same play-by-play -play and uh, everything that was on uh, KMMM or on Channel 3. Uh, and as you know, uh, we are now broadcasting as the audio for the bulletin board uh, the broadcasts of KMMM in Pratt. So all of the games will be play-by-play -play on, uh, on KMMM and on Channel 3, and we will record many of them in case you're a shut-in and try to have them on the TV uh, after the tournament is over or when, there are, uh, when there's nothing else to be on the, the TV in the evening time. Well, that's a lot to do about that. The, the Midwinter Classic is a big thing uh, for our community. Anyway, over in uh, Maxville, they're having chicken and noodles today, uh, the VIP Center, and then a choice of ham and beans or beef stew for tomorrow and for Friday, uh, barbecued beef brisket. Here in town at USD 350, they're having cheese quesadilla for lunch today, a Salisbury steak tomorrow, and hamburger on a bun on a Friday. And of course, uh, the events that we have at the school are the tournament. And uh, Thursday, the tournament will start at 4.45, and the same for Friday. And then 3 o'clock, it will start on uh, Saturday for the, the final games. And again, uh, KMMM will be broadcasting uh, the games and doing play-by-play -play descriptions, and we will record some of them and try to have them on the TV later uh, if you were shut in and couldn't go to the games. On the 20th, which is uh, coming right up, is tomorrow, I guess, uh, the Mom's Cafe uh, trip. Uh, the, uh, the rec commission will be going. You need to register today. I am going to go to the uh, Mom's Cafe for lunch. Uh, there, it's roast beef special there. Uh, and then at 1 o'clock, they're going to travel to Great Bend for the Schaefer Gallery. And Carol Long and Marco Fields have uh, ceramic displays. But there are other uh, displays there at the Schaefer Gallery, too. And after the Schaefer Gallery, they're going to go to Brown's for a snack and hope to be home by 5. And you won't be too late to the game if you go right away uh, to the game. Uh, again, uh, 
we have this flyer out, and KMMM is going to be uh, the voice of the bulletin board uh, for uh, Channel 3. And so you can hear the game if you're unable to go, and you can get a better signal by looking at Channel 3 uh, than you can over the air, because at nighttime, uh, a lot of radio stations have to reduce their signal. <coughs> The final announcement is the free throw championship sponsored by the Knights of Columbus. And uh, it's for all boys and girls, and they have uh, a few classes uh, of age groups. And so to participate, you need to have a proof of age and written parental consent. And then you can uh, participate in the free throw championship and uh, there will be uh, several winners. And this is a uh, nationwide kind of event so that uh, the winners here uh, would go to uh, local or district level competitions and might even win on the national competition if they're that good. And for more information, call Phil Messer at 6451 or Steve Freach at 6576 uh, before the contest on the 23rd of January. And uh, that's all the news and that's what I have for you at this time. The word of the day is some minds are like concrete, uh, all mixed up and permanently set. This is Jim Lakey, hoping that's not you.